In this video, we will go over connecting BERT to a database. We've opened up a project file and now we're going to create a new report design file. So now we have a bike design file and we need to connect to a database. So we're going to click new data source and we're going to click JDBC data source and you can name that data source. And here you're going to need to pick your driver class. So these driver classes are in your BERT setup. So you should have in your BERT connection in the plugins folder, the BERT plugins folder, report data dot JDBC. And in the drivers folder, you have all your JDBC files, jar files. So here I have a, a few files. One is for DB2, SQL Server, and Oracle. So these would reflect here. I, you see I have DB2, SQL Server, and Oracle. For this example, I'm going to use a SQL Server connection. And I'll just connect to my local database. So you had to add in your URL string, your username, and then your password. And you're going to test your connection. And your connection should be successful. You click OK. This URL string has to be specific to your whichever database you're using. And I'll give you a few examples of connection string pattern you need to use. So for SQL Server, it's server port database name and then your database. So that's the uh, pattern I'm following here is that I have server name, which is my local host, and my port is 1433. So if you're using DB2 or Oracle, you just need to follow these same patterns for your connection. So we click finish, and we're connected. We have a new uh, database data source. Now let's do one more example for a file source. and. Um, so we want to connect, we're going to say we're going to connect to an Excel data source. And this would work for any type of file source, XML, or a flat file. So we're going to call this Excel. And we're going to have to select the file. So to select a file, your file needs to be within your project folder. So let's go back first. So to locate your project folder, you're going to want to go in your properties tab and then you will see where your, if you don't remember where your location of your file path is. So here in this file path, I've added in our Excel file. And you also see our report design file. So we're going to go and we're going to connect to our Excel data source. And we're going to browse and we should see I had the file open, but our Excel source. So we'll connect. Click finish. 
and we should ha have our new Excel data source. Test connection, being successful. So that is the way to connect to a database and to a file source.